Now, while Christmas may be a distant memory for many, the Armenian community in Jerusalem has only just held its annual celebration. But this year, it's been overshadowed by the war in Gaza and a new threat to the survival of the community from a contested real estate deal which could see them lose 25% of their land in the ancient quarter of the old city. Our Middle East correspondent Yulan now has more. This is a Christmas like no other for Jerusalem's Armenians. Their holiday is always at a unique time, and this year it's been marked in an unusual way, with a sit-in in a makeshift tent. For two months now, members of the 2,000-strong Armenian community have been guarding this plot around the clock. They faced bulldozers and attacks by armed thugs since they pressured their church leader to go back on a land deal. He'd secretly signed it with a Jewish-Israeli developer. This may look like a car park, but it's incredibly valuable real estate in a place of huge religious significance. And it's now at the heart of a closely fought battle. Armenians have been in the holy city since the fourth century. Activists point out that the murky lease agreement could now mean losing homes and a seminary a quarter of Armenian property here. Everything was put in danger with this deal. Whoever wants to take away our rights and endanger our presence and our lives here, we will stand up against them and defend our rights till the end. Sacred to three religions, Jerusalem's old city with its holy sites was captured and occupied by Israel five decades ago. And it's at the core of its conflict with the Palestinians. Jewish settlements are widely seen as illegal under international law, but settler groups are committed to taking over more and more of the land here. It's alleged they have links to the Armenian takeover. Creating a settlement in, in this area is part of very far-reaching aims of settler organizations who basically want to uh, Judaize uh, completely the old city uh, and again with their eyes on the Temple Mount Al-Aqsa Mosque and that's very concerning. The Armenians have now begun a legal challenge in the Israeli courts to try to hold on to their land. But as the community comes together, they know their struggle may go on for years. Yolant Nell, BBC News. Jerusalem.